The mental health session was really good. It was better than I expected. I had no expectations, but I thought it was going to be the usual stuff. But it was honestly, it was a safe space. It was a safe space. Got really t to get some practical tips and just hearing from Meg's story and just so inspiring. So for me, it was ten out of ten. I feel I went there feeling like a five. I feel like an eight. I feel like an eight. So it was great. It was lovely. My favorite part was the breath walk. It was really good. I felt so relaxed. I had tingling sessions everywhere. Got a little bit of tears in there, but it was absolutely amazing. Recommended. Networking was was really good. Like you meet like a lot of people, get to um, ask them like um, interesting questions, and then even for you, like you know some of the questions that were asked, like it takes you back. You know, think about your life. For instance, like a significant event that happened in your life that has changed, you know, you. And then it's something that I just had to think about. Um, and then I, th I think it was essentially therapeutic. I, I, I think it was great. I found the session very empowering in terms of really got to understand people's views and thoughts on everything that's going on in the black community. Think about how we can empower ourselves to kind of make those necessary changes we need to see ourselves at the top and change the tone of those that are in power and hopefully like one day we will be in power too. Ultimately for this retreat was to be kind of re-inspired and get some new perspective. It's really good to hear from Yvonne about, how, about where she's come from. She's created spaces for me that I I didn't even know that she'd created it for me, so um, it's, been, it's been excellent. I loved the talks, but then the breath work this morning, I think that was like a good way to like round everything off and like end off the weekend. That was my favorite. I enjoyed the speed networking. Um, it allowed me to like think of different questions I'd ask people when I go out for networking, so that was, that was nice. The talks have been great as well, so learned a lot of tips on how to um, find my purpose, how to advance my career, and meet new people. I had so much fun. I like the fact that I was able to connect. There was a song going around, and you were dancing around, and then you have to stop at, at a particular spot, and then you have to ask questions. I kind of like that session. And I like the session of Aya when we had this uh, property investment conversation. So I love those two sessions. I've enjoyed the speed dating, speed networking. Great to learn about different people and network with many other people. Yeah, had a good time. It was really a safe space and I loved everything about what she did and how she orchestrated and organized and facilitated the whole session. And it was nice that everyone was open yes. about um, their conversations, different experiences they've had and also what this means to them and the change they want to see. And yeah, just the struggles that we all go through were just a reminder to stay connected and reach out for help if we need it. I mean, it was interesting. I mean, there were some very, very thoughtful questions. Yeah, I'll say thoughtful questions uh, on the table. So I was able to discuss with, I think, two persons. Yeah, we kind of shared some very personal information, which felt, which felt nice. As much as you've got like all these different people talking to you, I think I didn't realize how much you could actually take from each one and then kind of apply that into your your day to day. Um, I thought it'd be very much like a work focused, um, but I think a lot of the stuff I can actually take and apply into my personal life as well. It was very informative. Um, it was really interesting to hear like the different aspects and pillars of mental health and how we can really prioritize ourselves and create space um, for our own mental health so that we show up um, in a very positive way, whether it's in our workspace or in our personal spaces. It was amazing. I think for me, it was so practical with tips that I could apply in my personal life but also in my professional life because I lead on inclusion within my area in Deloitte so I was just thinking of how I can use this to benefit my colleagues at, but as well look at how I can use it for my own life you know when Meg was talking about mirrors I thought that was, section was so relevant looking at who are the people that can encourage me and can reflect myself back to me so no not 10 out of 10 11 out of 10